Hello, class. 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 Are you? Th- Hello, class. 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 Are you there? Hello. 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 Is every? Is anyone? Is everyone there? Hello. Hello. Class. Hey, there we are. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to. Draw class. class. The last. Welcome to class. The last class of the year. Uh, oh my I'm, god! Ah. Wow. I didn't realize. Right? Actually. Yeah, the last class of the last class of the year. Uh, Whoa! What happened? YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such. That's oh. fucking awesome. Okay, that's cool. My stream status is poor. I love that. I love that for me. Well, we're, uh, we're just well. we're just gonna power through. I think. Hello. Yeah. Ask class. Let us know yeah, if there's any issues, if... or if you, or if there aren't any issues, and you can hear us. Yeah. How's it? How's it sound to you? Yeah. How's it look? How's this look? How's this look? It's on a little bit of a delay. <laughs> So yeah, Nathan, you really said fuck it, we'll do it live, and this is you—you you got what you asked for. Yeah. No, this <laughs> happened last time too. It's like as soon as I start yeah. streaming, it says there's an issue. So I don't know. Uh, but we're just gonna. It, it looks okay. Thank you. Welcome. It looks. Welcome, it looks good. It looks. Welcome, Zandrew Burt. Welcome, Chemical. Welcome, Cryptidish. Welcome, Negapole. Classes in awesome. session. Sounds and looks good. Thank you. I'm gonna constantly need that um, that reassurance from you all. That's what you're providing me today. Um, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> and I think I think we're gonna do a, a pretty a pretty similar one. Oh, that was a good joke, Karina. I think we're gonna do. <laughs> I think we're gonna do a pretty similar one to the last one I hosted, where we're just gonna we're just gonna try and and relax relax our minds. Try and um, you know just just live in the creativity of of the art. We're not gonna we're not gonna focus too much on any specific skills. We're just gonna we're just gonna draw for the sake of drawing. And uh, again, class is always pretty pretty small. So if there's anything specific you you want to work on, let me know. Um, but. I think we're gonna start with with basically the same way we started the last one. Someone in the comments mentioned that I was doing automatic drawing without realizing it. I uh, so I, I looked up automatic drawing, okay. and uh, yeah, that is kind of what I was doing. So we can we can do sort of more of that, uh, more of that. But but to start again, we've got this blank canvas, which can be very intimidating. So what I like to do whenever whenever we're we're trying to be sort of intentional about drawing for the sake of drawing is let's let's just let's just get at let's just get at that blank canvas. Let's just heck it right up. Take away all of its power. <laughs> yeah. And just do and just doodle it. Just doodle it up. Just feel the way it feels to draw. And hopefully, it feels pretty good, you know? Just I have a question for you. Just making marks on the canvas. What's up, Karina? What's your question? Sorry, I was prepping an announcement. Okay. Draw class stream now. You can find the link in Patreon. Oh, okay. thank you, Karina. Um, yeah. I remembered. Um, do you approach... I, I don't know how much you like keep sketchbook or anything, or if you ever do, but do you feel that you have the same approach when you do that as well uh i don't i'm really uh as as intimidating as digital drawing is drawing in <laughs> physical media is like tenfold yeah uh, i just like you know if if you're if you're watching this and you're using physical media congrats you're already like 10 steps ahead of me <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I think, 
obviously like i'm just picking your brain I, i'm not drawing along this time i'm, yeah, I'm that's, that's trading cool. off with nathan from when i did draw class yeah, you're, so you're gonna be the clown i'm just here for conversation yeah <laughs> um no i think that like maintaining a relationship with uh, physical media is really good practice for artists and it's something I wish I did more of and maybe I will try to do that more in the new year yeah um we we've got our because yeah, new year's resolution Ooh. video already recorded spoilers but I didn't I didn't talk about that but that can be a little extra <laughs> yeah that wasn't yeah that's a that's a secret one it's a little um, bonus little bonus extra yeah um but yeah like I think that like I, I say this a lot, but like when you're when you're drawing for the sake of for the purpose of practicing, the the idea is and, and I think it's important. Uh, it, it's just like it's a helpful mindset to have because you can be less precious with it. The idea is the the act of doing it is what's important, not what you make. Yeah. And so. With digital media, it's like super easy. It's like you're not wasting anything. I guess you're wasting electricity, but like <laughs> as as opposed to like paper, which you know you it, it takes up space. You either have to like throw it away or or keep it. But like the idea is, you could throw everything away that you draw during a practice session, and the the value of the session is in the act of of doing the exercise and less so in in what was made. Yeah. Uh so for for that for those purposes I find digital can be can be kind of freeing because like you can literally just be like okay, it's gone. Um yeah. you just click a button. But it I I it it can also be fun and cathartic to to save a sketchbook and like just keep it for yourself. You don't need to share it with anyone. You don't need yeah. to do anything with it besides have it for yourself for the exercises. And then you can look back on it and be like, oh look, I I you can you can see the improvement, which um which can be helpful also. But I I yeah. for, for the purposes of just like getting out of your head and just making yourself draw and this is just from like my own personal experience anytime there's the added pressure of oh someone's gonna look at this or i'm gonna keep this or you know like the the, the pressure of having some something that exists after you 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 do the thing after you do the drawing having the drawing after doing yeah. the drawing it can add unnecessary pressure where whereas like the, the the purpose is that you that you did the drawing that that this is practice yeah. and that just by by going through the motions uh and and doing the thing you've you've already added the like the value is in that more so than than yeah. what you're drawing i was just picking your brain because i know a lot of our viewers also do traditional media but I've been doing some too this year. I have a sketchbook, but I mostly just use it for like scratch drawings. Mm -hmm. I was trying to use it while I was traveling and then it was like too much pressure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I mostly just do it for like really quick stuff and like thumbnailing and planning yeah. out stuff for episodes or like I have all the storyboards for the ads in there. But also yesterday I was like practicing sculpting because I've been like really angry anxious lately oh, and that's like the, really relaxing to me the torso yeah yeah i i was getting really in the weeds with it and then mm. i ran out of clay and the art supply store near me didn't have any in stock and so i just kept like futzing with it and then i got frustrated and scraped the whole thing and yeah. then threw it away hell yeah which is a waste but also it felt good to do that yeah you did it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it was worthwhile for you to have it was that. it was really relaxing in the moment but then when i started stressing about it i just destroyed it yeah <laughs> and said i'm i'm normal again yay <laughs> yeah and that's that's something that like while you, if if you're watching and drawing along with me if at any point what you're drawing like i don't want you to put any pressure on it but like if at any point what you're drawing is so abhorrent to you that you just don't want to look at it anymore, just just get rid of it and start over. Like that's that's great. You're allowed. You're allowed. 
I'm just I'm just trying to fill up the screen again. We're just sort of doing we did we did our initial just sort of scribbles. Now we're going a little bit slower. Just sort of making yeah. making some some abstract lines and shapes. Cuz I definitely think and agree that <laughs> with the advent of the internet, there is a lot of pressure to share your progress. Yeah um and what you do and that's a really scary thing that might end up just causing you to not create anything at all yep but I've, I've fallen no that's in there. not what it's about it's about the yeah it's a it's, i think art should always be about your own feelings and just the act of doing it i can even yeah. see that right now with what you're doing nathan it seems relaxing it's, and almost rhythmic to just be filling in those spaces. Yeah, I, I watched a video. We, I'm, I, I'm, I'm still in the middle of watching the, um, the H bomber guy plagiarism video. So I don't want to plagiarize, <laughs> um, but I, 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 I want to cite my sources. I watched a video yes. on the, um, the, the Proco, I believe is is the YouTuber's name, uh, uh -huh. where he, and that that's a great resource just for all sorts of uh art tips and and stuff he has a lot of cool uh guests on there as well to talk about it and so he's talking to this guy um i should have written down his name but if you if you just youtube search automatic drawing it's the proco video about automatic drawing and um he he just talks about how you you're at your most creative when your brain is relaxed and it, and, yeah. and it can it can often be counterintuitive because like usually when you need to be creative you're putting pressure on yourself um whether it's like for for work or just because you you feel like you need to you have that urge to create but then once you sit down to do it you want it to be good and just the the act of of doing a little bit of warm up and just letting your brain relax and reminding yourself that the act of drawing in and of itself is rewarding and is enjoyable is um is is very valuable um they they say it better than i did so again yeah. i um paraphrasing <laughs> i'm paraphrasing yeah. and citing i don't want to show up in any, any youtube videos <laughs> get destroyed. i don't want to get destroyed um yeah no i mean uh, all all art is is theft but you can still be conscious of who you're stealing from and yeah. thank them <laughs> Uh, yeah like that so yeah we've got got our canvas all filled up there again and uh nice we're just we're just gonna go again and uh those were like yeah. sort of sort of drippy shapes i want to i want to try and and do sort of what the guy did in that video where he does these very sort of um like organic shapes he, and, he, and he's using like like traditional media and so he's he's really filling in he's like going in there and like shading he's using like a, i don't know if it's like a charcoal That's pencil cool. or something and he makes yeah. this like really cool sort of like i don't know it looks like an alien's like musculature or something i don't know i don't know what Ooh. we're we're not we're not really we don't have anything in mind we're just sort of going to try and do these more sort of like loose shapes and just no, sort of... nathan have you done a lot of physical media type shit in the past yeah yeah but um like a I... lot of different kinds in the past yeah i uh i took these uh series of, of art classes in high school there was this uh this uh -huh. park near where i live called glen echo park and uh they they did a, a series of art classes there and i did i did oil painting i did a i did a lot of like mixed media like um 
marker and and acrylic paint and uh, and charcoal and collage nice. and and all sorts of stuff like that and it was a lot of just like live models and still lives and there was a there were these it was like a father and son who who taught who taught these different classes and they were both really they also taught my brother um he he went harder into the the painting stuff and he's <laughs> he's got a lot of really cool paintings from from that time still and yeah. I, I think he's obviously he's a he's a more skilled painter than uh <laughs> than I am, and that's and that's okay. You know, it's not a yeah, different strokes. You can uh, different folks. You can you can see his uh, his his digital painting skills on display and uh, Thursdays at the time of of streaming this on Thursdays <laughs> video. And um, yeah, I think I think there's there's so much value in getting outside your comfort zone and. Um, and experimenting with uh with styles that yeah. you're I mean I was I was that asking you're, that you're not so I was comfortable like, with. We should do that. We should we should just have like a chill thing. I have I have a lot of shit at my place if you ever want to just oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. automatic draw using other shit. Yeah. I, I find the other reason I was doing a lot of sculpting is this week is because I was like I find it genuinely like such a different experience to like yeah be in like a different spot working with like something very tangible rather than just like at my desk at my little workstation as usual. Mm -hmm. Um, so I was talking about it with my mom too, because she was telling me how she's doing her like Christmas tree crafting. Uh, and she was. It's just like, yeah, I feel I'll just like put on a Netflix and like do my crafting and it's really relaxing, but it's weird because I'm multitasking. I'm like, I do that every day. Yeah. <laughs> that's how that's the only way I know how to exist. And it is really relaxing, especially if it's something that you're like, like physically handling. Um, yeah, so definitely do that sometime that's all i'm saying i'm i'm down this, thing, this looks like cool and chill as fuck yeah we're just I'll get like a big pad of paper yeah that's fun <laughs> big pad of paper just like yeah some some real like yeah. soft charcoal just make a huge mess of our hands everything's gonna Hell be covered yeah. in our fingerprints like that's that's when you know <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm super down oh my god we'll make plans um and yeah so like whatever wh whatever you're doing drawing along if you've if you've already managed to fill up the page again just uh just start over you know and again if you if you get burnt out while while doing this feel free to take a break and just like relax but like the goal the goal here is to sort of get your brain to relax and just sort of let let your let your hand just sort of do do what it wants with yeah. with the stylus and and it, you know you can experiment with holding it differently like you can do like if you hold it i don't know how well it works on digital but you can hold it sort of um as opposed to holding it like a pencil you can yeah. sort of hold it this way which sort of you 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 can rely less on your wrist um motions and you have to sort of make these these bigger movements with your um, with your elbow and shoulder, and that can be that can be freeing as well. Um, and yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really matter what it looks like, what you're making. What matters more is is the act of doing it. And and then what what's fun is sometimes you'll come up with something. That then you're like, oh, I, I didn't even, I didn't even know I was thinking of that. That looks cool. Let me see if I can like recreate that intentionally. <laughs> and you can get these, these fun sort yeah. of aha moments. And I guess a nice, yeah, a nice thing about working digitally is that if you do 
stumble upon something you like, you can extrapolate from it more directly. Yeah. Without, I'm just like, I, I would worry that if I like did that on paper, I'd be like, I have to not fuck up the beautiful original, but you can just duplicate the layer if you're working digitally. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, you can duplicate the layer or you can just like try and recreate it as well. Just like yeah. use it as reference. Yeah. And yeah, I was I was trying to sort of I wasn't picking up my my stylus for a while, but now I am and sort of going back in and just like seeing where my eye is leading me and what what it it feels like you're you're really sort of feeling more than than thinking with this yeah and um yeah it's just like it's cool because because i didn't i didn't think to draw any of this but i did draw it and like you're gonna be you're doing that too like there's part of there's parts of your brain that are working but it's not the like conscious thought verbal part of your brain that like makes sense of everything. And when you just sort of get that part to shut up for a second, I say as I'm talking, but you know, I'm, I'm distracting that part by talking to you. I'm yeah. not, I'm not letting it guide. <laughs> I'm not making any conscious decisions about yeah. the, the art with that part of my brain You're... right now. You're talking for the benefit of the viewers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to help. You're, but... you're helping a lot. Ooh. I appreciate you. Um, I like just chatting with you in a relaxed setting, Nathan. Whoa. <laughs> That's I why like... I'm just like, oh, we should like hang out, like just chill hangs. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Let's do it. But <laughs> the dark truth of Drawfee is that we don't actually really ever hang out because we see each other like we spend so much time together for actual recording. Yeah. And then I think everyone just like, okay, that's enough. Yeah. <laughs> which but is fair, which is normal. It's fair. It's also just like, yeah, we, I feel like once it gets to be around like November, it's just crazy scheduling yeah, wise because sure. there's like, we we did anime NYC and then it was Thanksgiving and then I had a another wedding to go. Also, this year was just like crazy with all the weddings and this year was Jacob wild. and Julia moving yeah. and I'm I'm impressed with all we've been able to accomplish this year. Yeah, despite that. Yeah. So and and thank you all, particularly those of you watching live who are supporting us monetarily on Patreon. Really appreciate you all. Yeah. And I hope that real MVPs. I hope that you uh you stick with us, that you've enjoyed what we've uh what we've made this past year and that you 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 want to see what we what we've got coming down the pipe next year as well. Yeah. I'm excited to see what we get up to next year. I hope I hope we we're all just a little bit more uh less bogged down in our in we our will. personal we, lives. We, yeah. So that leaves, no, for sure. leaves us free to try more yeah. stuff. Definitely will be that way. But the the response to Thursday's video is has been has been pretty nice. I, I'm yeah. glad to see people enjoy enjoy my brother and the general tone of, of that one. <laughs> They want to. They want to see. I saw a lot of people saying they want to see Stephen and um and Spencer on a vid together. And I, oh my god! <laughs> I, I agree with that. I'll uh I'll I'll stay home for that one. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, I think I'll leave that yeah, one to them. <laughs> uh, We're not even on the episode. Yeah, I'm scared. It's just those two. <laughs> scared for my own well being. <laughs> Someone in the comments referred to you as um, younger sibling mini boss, as opposed to Steven, who's the <laughs> final boss. It, is, it, it, explains, it explains so much of Nathan and Karina's dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he grew up with. 
I feel like a lot of my just most toxic traits really boil down to the fact that I am a young, I am the youngest in my family. <laughs> I think I'm the only older sibling on the on the show. You are, yeah, because Jacob, <laughs> Jacob, only child. Yeah, and then you and Julia younger. Yeah, but. I'll I'll take the title of mini boss because as much as I love to like sass my friends, if I had ev if if I were to ever bring my brother onto the show, I probably wouldn't <laughs> strike him down oh so quickly. <laughs> I would hold back at least a little bit. Bringing bringing Spencer on for the first time was as close as I'll ever get yeah. to bringing a sibling onto the show. I'm so it, so it was much kind fun, of like Karina. That, that. <laughs> Spencer's great. Every every time I I hang out with yeah. him, I'm just like, oh, Spencer's Spencer's lovely. Spencer's the best. Yeah. He he wants to come back sometime, but you know he. He's up to so much, so we'll figure busy, it out. He's a busy lad. He's grackling. He's a busy boy. He's grackling he's out there all grackling. over the town. <laughs> yeah, this was this was a cool one. I like I like this. Yeah. I, like this I love one. the feel of this. Don't Seems really know what's going on. Very whoosh. It's very whoosh. Yeah, your brain was feeling very. Whoosh. Yeah, that's just and what that's was what in came there. Out. That's what came yeah. out. Um, <laughs> we can do uh, another one. We'll we'll try for like a, a little bit different, different energy here. And again, uh, just sort of, just sort of vibe it out. This is, I guess, we're getting a little bit closer to my um, my style. I'm picking up the pen more, and but again, we're just sort of, yeah, just sort of making shapes and seeing how, yeah, how those I am shapes gently go. drawing on my end, but I'm just, I'm just drawing cat, cat friends, cat boys. Nice. That's almost like free, like automatic drawing. To me. If if all you want to do, know. is... I feel like that's another yeah. Cat boys. There's a lot of pressure sometimes that you should always be kind of like consciously thinking and challenging yourself, which I think is an important thing to do. But fuck it, sometimes I just want to draw OCs. Yeah. That's... In in like situations, I get nervous that I draw a lot of the same shit on the show all the time. Same. And that's like hindering me as an artist, but come on, it's fun. <laughs> There's stuff people like it's, to see, you know. Yeah, it's like, fun and we have to like do it so fast on the fly, like Yeah. <laughs> it's like half automatic drawing the way that we work. Right. It's just like you get a prompt and then it's like, okay, you gotta draw something. What's it gonna be? <laughs> yeah. So Yeah, it's yeah, definitely so. different than how a lot of other artists do it uh, where they yeah. they have a specific assignment that they're trying to uh, they're trying to accomplish or whatever but we're just we're just being silly that's okay we're just silly little guys yeah just like you don't even know the law. I don't even know what this is that I'm making. It looks like a bunch of like pustules. I it's kind of gross, but that's okay. It matters. Yeah. yeah. Maybe sort of, your brain's full of pus. <laughs> maybe get the pus out. Get the pus out of your brain. Yeah. <laughs> if you start to see like some forms forming and you want to go back in there and like explore them, that's totally cool. And again, if like you're drawing, you're trying this out and it's just like, you're not vibing with what you're drawing, that's okay. You can, you can keep at it or you can just be like, no, that one, that one's a no for me. <laughs> yeah. That's allowed. Um, yeah, we're sort of still in like, this is basically just going to be like, I don't know. We're at like a half hour now. Maybe we'll do another. 
Yeah. You know, they're like 15 minutes of, of this sort of stuff. And then if, if anybody has any stuff they want to work on, they can. Or we can just yeah. keep it keep it chill. Like la- Yeah, let me know if there's anything you'd like to do. Yeah, I... I'll, uh... I'll... Yeah. keep me- I'll keep an eye on chat. Thank you, Karina. Yeah, I feel mm-hmm. like I've I've said this on the on the streams before, but like I feel like I've I've kind of reached the limit of what I feel knowledgeable enough about to like lead an entire class on. Um, yeah. But I I'm very appreciative of people who want to just hang out and uh and draw with me. And so I'm always happy to do that. That's that's going to be sort of the vibes of of any class I lead going forward. Yeah. And so if you, if you just want to hang out and, and doodle, that's great. And if you have any Nathan or Karina specific questions you want to ask. Yeah. Or just stuff ask wanna... them at any point because there is a delay on chat. Oh, true. So even if we don't get to it right away, we'll get to it. Just Just blurt it out. Come on. Yeah just blurred it but yeah i mean i i think you're more knowledgeable than you'll give yourself credit for but it is really difficult to like teach yeah like, like <laughs> julia is so good at just like she'll she'll like make a whole ass class you know she'll like make the whole powerpoint and everything and i'm just like <laughs> i'm i'm glad I... i'm glad you did for me yeah. for my money and for I guess for for their money, I'm I'm just here, I'm just here to hang out. Like, <laughs> at this point, the the draw class, the learner tier, you're getting what you're getting the PSDs, and you get you get to be on a live stream, part of a live stream that's like got like around maybe maybe like ten five to ten people watching so you can get you get some <laughs> one-on-one time if you just if like you just want to ask questions um now's now's a good time for that <laughs> or if you just want me to to give you some some words of encouragement i think the um like the art crit we'll streams it. have been really good i've uh i've enjoyed yeah. being part of those i don't i don't ever want to lead one but i'm, I'm always happy to be a second chair <laughs> on those as well i think you could lead one but i yeah those ones always go really well it's just that especially the last couple that were me and jacob we went so long with them because yeah. there's just always like more to say there's a lot to talk about <laughs> yeah because there's so much like good stuff and it's that just people bring so it's so it's like very you're being very vulnerable sharing your stuff in in uh, such yeah. a, a public way and so you definitely want to give uh the appropriate mm-hmm. amount of respect and time to everybody who who did that yeah and i do um appreciate that people like go and watch those vods and comment like uh that the criticism like the critique is really fair and kind and it like didn't make them feel like you know it was just like oh you sometimes it can be really scary or like really like come off as mean or talking down right and i'm just like that's i i mean that's the goal but also like oh i feel bad that there are people who might be scared of getting critiqued because maybe they've been in that situation because that's not a fun feeling. Oh, yeah. I remember so. one of my art classes that I took in college <laughs> were just like the any time we did like a, a peer critique of, of work, I always felt like people are really being like they're, and they're being encouraged to be like very negative about the piece. And I always anytime I had something to say, I, I tried I tried to at least think of like something positive to say as well about yeah or just you know make it at least make it like actionable what the what the critique is like here's here's how I think you could improve this versus people would just be like well I really don't like this I'm like what's the point of saying that <laughs> wow thank you yeah well, Thanks. thank you I'll thank remember you so that much. well into my 30s <laughs> thank you so much it's like yeah wow. I don't know. they're Thanks. like I, you know, art teachers are great. 
the one for that class I definitely learned a lot from, but she did seem to enjoy watching us destroy each other a little more <laughs> than Damn. I would have I would have liked. <laughs> Damn. But that's you know cuz it's like it's so weird being in an art class, right? And it's cuz cuz art's so subjective and what you're Yeah. You, you there's a grade attached to it and you want to pass the class. So I, you know, I'm very much just like, okay, what it 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 becomes an exercise in trying to figure out like wh okay what does this teacher like, <laughs> what does yeah. this teacher want to see, um, like I think as a student because I I went to an arts high school so technically I I was in art education for eight years yeah you've um, got way more experience than I do for high school and college but for high school like. It, we were a, like it was a small class like maybe my like graduating class for the art major was like 40 or 30 people mm -hmm. it wasn't many um but uh everyone had completely different work that they did and it was a more fine arts focused thing whereas i went to college like for animation so that was a much like smaller range of styles and like work types because everyone was kind of doing all the same stuff. But I think because I started off in a much wider pool, like I, I was doing critiques with people who did like sculpture and like performance art and um, like, you know, large scale paintings, like oil paintings. And then I was like doing a lot of like marker illustration and comic and some video work and you know everyone was like doing completely different things but we were all still just kind of like you know critiquing each other and i think because of that it you know people forget that there's such a wide range of like yeah totally uh, skills and and styles and you need to be open to all of that yeah so and even because, like, I'm still pretty involved with my high school because I really owe a lot to my time there. So I did go back recently and talk with some of the students, and I was looking at, like, some of their works. And even still, I'm just like, wow, ah, so many different types of works. And some people are, like, at different, like, skill levels already. Like, these are freshmen in high school, yeah. so very young and but all over the place, but it was still just like really cool to see because they're gonna they're gonna learn a lot, and how exciting for them. That's awesome. Yeah, I wish yeah. I had done. I, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I, I got to do a lot of um, art class type stuff, at, like as, as sort of an extracurricular when I was in high school. But that's so yeah. cool to be able to like have done that. Um in the yeah. in the school very, proper as like part very of it. lucky <laughs> and this and like the i i owe a lot to like the faculty because they they really like made it good i know a lot of people even if they did a lot of like art classes or whatever in high school like sometimes the faculty is like not supportive right and that yeah. makes me sad because that does kind of like kill your drive and even at my high school, you know, they're just, as freshmen, they were just like, you know, they had a no anime rule, but it's because they don't want you to get bogged down right. in like a style. They want you to explore other things before you kind of like to find your own style. Because, yeah. um, you know, you're like 13, 14 when you start off like in high school. Yeah. So uh, once once I was like a junior, they were just like, yeah, just do whatever. Like, you know what you're your work is now and i i did really appreciate that even though it did at times feel like a little unfair but helps you grow yes. and they were it's not that they were like personally against it they were just like it's it's an education thing not like a personal bias per se yeah even if that wasn't clear at first so right. no, I, I remember that in in art classes i would take people yeah like, don't because I know some anime. people are like, like some teachers like really don't like it. Yeah. And it's like, that's a shame because you shouldn't be discouraging that. Yeah. 
Because it's still art. It's, still <laughs> it's art. just not art that you like. And it's still inspiring. Like, you know, <laughs> if, the, if the whole reason you started drawing is so that you could draw Goku, like, that's valid. Yeah. <laughs> it got you to create something. And I'll have you know that a lot of the artists that I had to study in, like, various art history courses, mm -mm, not a fan, did not like them, but we still learn about them anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta see the whole the whole thing to see the whole yeah you gotta see the whole to know what you're down for exactly <laughs> there was this one sculptor that basically my entire class like we were learning a lot about a lot of like modern sculptors i think i mentioned this on a stream before but we were learning like a lot of different modern sculptors and there was this one guy that our whole class just decided we hated <laughs> <laughs> and we constantly made fun of this one fucking sculptor. That's awesome. <laughs> That's very high school. Extremely yeah. high school coded. <laughs> Extremely high, like art, like fine art kids fucking high school thing is that there was this one fucking sculptor who had this entire series and I'm sorry if it means anything, but like it was just a series where he nailed lengths of rope to a wall with one nail and we like hated it so much. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that year, like um, a bunch of us had made like, you know, Valentine cards and stuff for one of like our teacher, our art teacher, because like <laughs> we, we all really liked him. So we just like organized a bunch of valentines and someone just took a piece of rope and nailed it to a piece of wood and wrote happy valentines on it <laughs> awesome. we hated those sculptures kids are still kids <laughs> nathan this is neato this is fun i've never drawn like this it's it's cool yeah like your brain just sort of comes up with stuff and then like when you look at it you you give it meaning and then you're like okay i sort of see what's happening and then you go in there yeah. and try and make it more like what you're drawing and it's this cool like recursive process of like letting yeah. letting yourself be free and just expressive and then going back in and refining yeah. and I just like how it. amorphous and continuous it is yeah dude thank you <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> just like deciding what is negative space and what isn't it's like completely it's completely up to you I, I'm yeah and again like uh like like I, I said at the at the top of the class, like you are not under any obligation to uh to share anything you make. This is all for you. This is like your art journey and your practice. But anything you do want to share, I, I always do love to see it uh in the uh in the Patreon draw class channel. Yeah. I remember being delighted by the stuff people were sharing after my uh, the last one I hosted. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. I see at least one question. I, saw, I, say, I say that like it isn't clearly just a single question in chat. Would you like to hear it? I would love to hear it. Um, Error9527 asks... Do you like changing your sketch into the line art layer or prefer doing a whole nother layer with the line art, at least for learning to do the better line art? Karina slash Nathan. Sorry, I, I worded that strangely. <laughs> um, for... Do you like changing your sketch into the line art or prefer to do um, like to line over the sketch? Uh, for, for learning how to do better line art. For learning how to do better line art. That's interesting. Um, I think I, I like yeah. doing the line art separate. That's I mean and... that's that's just how I I'm used to working. And I guess like I don't I don't know that I've done a lot of um, 
like sort of intentional line art practice. That's something that's sort of working at college humor, making uh, web comics <laughs> for like my entire professional adult life. It just sort of my line art improved. Um, yeah, they don't let you do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I definitely still still to this day um, when I'm like rendering a drawfy drawing, uh, I basically always have the line art um, separate from the from the sketch, unless it's like a, like a thirty second challenge or something where like the i don't i don't want to change it too much because the like the humor is in how how janky the, <laughs> the sketch is in which case i'll usually yeah. just um sort of duplicate the sketch layer enough times until it becomes like solid enough to be the line art if that makes sense yeah i i feel like because of the nature of our <laughs> of our work initially um making web comic material very very fast yeah. i think we just kind of had to teach ourselves how to do line art like really fast even if i don't know i was never that satisfied with my line art but it's a living but <laughs> um i I mean, if your goal is to get better at line art, then yeah, you should <laughs> you should uh, take the sketch and like really figure it out. I've definitely mentioned this somewhere before, but a lot of people feel that sketches um, they you know once you put the line art down, you're not as happy with it because it suddenly feels stiffer. Yes, and that's not super true it's just that with a sketch you have a lot of different lines you haven't fully committed to that one line mm. so once you start sketching if you know your brain has to commit to one line whereas before maybe it was seeing four and oh, that's interesting once you have that one down because i think it depends on your sketch style but i have a really messy sketch style so um like there's a lot of uh like if if you have like a sketch and your brain like if you have like a bunch of different lines your brain will kind of approximate the line that it sees mm -hmm. and so part of like getting better at line art is kind of matching that approximation um closer than just kind of putting a line down and then being like oh no suddenly it doesn't have that same feeling anymore um it's actually, but yeah if that makes sense that does that i i learned from that yeah that's smart because yeah. if yeah because if you like you know draw four circles like if you sketch four circles to try and find like the the one you like until you draw like line art for the final thing you're seeing all four circles at the same time and you're just like i see the circle i want in there but every time i do the line art it feels different so that that's something that's part of practice even i still do that yeah i'll do a sketch and i'll be like yeah yeah and then i'll start drawing i'll be like no <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just keep relining it until I'm like, okay, that that's kind of what I was feeling before, I guess. I figured it out. But, yeah. I used to do a lot of just drawing, or like, okay, I don't want to line art it. The sketch is the line art, and there's nothing wrong with doing that either. No, and that, um, I think maybe the... Um... Like when I was trying to do more like uh, like those um, Max Greca style sort of um, like mm. more painterly rendered stuff. Um, yeah. Because he, in at least in the tutorial I looked at, he um, he just uses the the sketch layer as the 
like the lines like the the pieces don't look super lined because they're so rendered that like the lines end up sort of blending in with the painting yeah um, and so i tried doing that and then basically you sort of I don't know the the way the way I did it the sort of shortcut I took was I would just sort of end up end up sort of putting lines over parts that looked too messy at the end like sort of doing yeah. like, um, like a rim lighting that that sort of became the uh, the outline for certain parts it would either be like a, a rim lighting or like a really dark uh, shadow line. Yeah. Um, in in that in that case because i there wasn't like a sort of it wasn't as like ink inks flats and and shading style it was more of like one sort of rendered yeah. piece i i didn't i didn't bother with like a a line art part of the of the process between yeah. sketch and and rendering I think for us, especially since we kind of do still do like, you know, kind of <clears throat> semi quick <clears throat> turnaround content, N not really, but you and I, especially <laughs> Mr. Nathan, <laughs> tend to do our renders kind of late. <laughs> yeah, this is true. So we do them somewhat quickly i mean all of us because like that that's a part of the process where it's just like you just got to get it done sometimes yeah so i don't think that we do as much like uh experimenting or messing around with like the stuff we do oh for sure on the show unless it's like a speed draw because right. even just looking at some of the stuff i've been i draw for myself like a lot of it the line art isn't something i consider inked and finished it's mm -hmm. it's very sketchy i tend to keep it like i'll maybe focus in on like key details like facial features and stuff but other parts like the clothing or where the form isn't as important i'll just like so it's just figuring out what works for you yeah absolutely mm -hmm. feel like I'm I'm liking this piece too much and now I'm like thinking about it more when I shouldn't be thinking mm -hmm. I should just be doing stop thinking stop just thinking. go 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 go, 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 go. No you got you cut that out right now that's not what that's this bad. is for <laughs> out just make more blobs <laughs> just doing a quick glance at my fucking tumblr archive and i'm like there was a point where i just eventually stopped doing this but i would keep the full sketch in as well <laughs> i would just like color directly on top of like my entire underdrawing and I'm like nice. yeah <laughs> oh to not give a fuck to this degree <laughs> anymore <laughs> I give a little bit more of a fuck now but <laughs> I also when I first started my tumblr because I've had my tumblr since uh 2010 wow. there's a pretty deep backlog on there it's all still there but I always kind of ran it with, was it 2010? Oh my God, it was. I was, I've been posted on here forever. Um, I kind of ran it with the intent that even though I was publicly sharing these things, it was still just kind of like a sketchbook to me. So I would just nice. post whatever. I'm Hell just yeah. like, it's, it doesn't need to be clean. It doesn't need to look good. No. <laughs> I did it. You did it. <laughs> so I'm posting it. Yeah. <laughs> it's all it's there. It's quote unquote on paper. So <laughs> there. What do you Who want? Cares? <laughs> what do you want from yeah. me? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. I feel that. I do I do kind of miss having that 
mindset. But now I just, you know, if I don't feel like something's looking too hot, I just don't post it. Right. And that's okay too. That's great. You never have to yeah. post anything, contrary to what yeah. the internet makes it feel like sometimes. Yeah, you can just be quiet you and self reflect. You never have to, yeah. <laughs> You don't have to say something about everything. You don't have to post something about everything. You can just, you can have art and thoughts and feelings that are just for you or people that you know in the real world. <laughs> don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Mm. All right. I've I'm at the deepest part of my Tumblr archive and I'm really laughing at this photo uh -huh. <laughs> of it was like a work in progress of like this watercolor thing I was doing for school at the time. And it's a photo from 2010 and visible in the photo is both uh, my old flip phone and a, like a skinny tie that my friend had left at my house <laughs> wow flip phone like, and skinny oh, yeah. tie <laughs> the 2010 combo incredible <clears throat> and also a baggie of whoppers for some reason Ooh. Uh, candy like okay <laughs> yeah that's there too huh <laughs> We get it. You're a senior in high school in 2010. <laughs> I could have guessed based on no other context clues than those. Didn't Julia bring Whoppers to Anime NYC? She, she? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I have a recent memory of Julia just coming up to me like, you want Whopper? <laughs> <laughs> Just being like, I, why do you have that? <laughs> <laughs> why do you have that? Half of the time Julia shows up at my apartment, I'm just like, yeah, why do you have that? Where did you get that? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> And that's the fun of it. That's that's part of the fun, being friends with yeah. someone like that. I was looking through like my photos while I was on the subway earlier for the year because I was reflecting on the year. Ooh, yeah, it's about and that time I have to do that. at least I have I have at least one photo where it was I I had just like looked over and Julia had like created a little scene in my living room. <laughs> Cause I, cause I have the Rilakkuma plushie on the couch and <laughs> she had like propped him up and like had like a jar of snacks in front of him and like snacks going down his tummy. <laughs> He's just sitting there. I'm like, She's doing it again. She's making little scenes, little vignettes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's her version of this. Yeah. She's it's not so much automatic drawing it's just automatic doing whatever the fuck <laughs> automatic being a little gremlin yeah that's beautiful <laughs> well, it's been like an hour already yeah we gotta finish we just gotta finish this one and then we can yeah, we can just move on do to whatever. doing something else. Any more questions? If any or or um, yeah. subject just matter, if we can, because uh, I think yeah. after last time we just moved on to doing animals, because that's what I like to draw. Yeah, I'm happy yeah. to do more animal drawing. We could also just like do no reference drawing and and just do like imagination stuff the entire time. Ooh, were you planning on using reference? I didn't have any plans. My plan was just a vibe today. Yeah. So if today is just about vibing, we can like, because yeah, obviously End like year vibe. Always, you know, if if you want to get better at drawing something specific, 
using reference is, is always a good a good habit to get into but also if like what you want to improve on is just like being able to draw from your imagination you don't you don't have to look at reference for that you can just just try imagining like right now we're just doing very sort of amorphous undefined things but if we want to try doing some making some imagination creatures or characters happy to to switch into that mode truly whatever y'all want to <laughs> do it's like it's just us yeah. you you're uh you're the ones paying for it so you yeah, tell it's me it's apollo just us come it's, on it's apollo just us so <laughs> you let me know what you want to work on and we can we can draw it together we can all hang out live in that space that creative space together um I personally, I will keep an eye on the chat, but I keep bonking this microphone when I get oh, up you, in this corner. Oh, you you bonking? I'm bonking, so I, um, I hope that doesn't sound awful yeah. to everybody. I haven't heard anything, but um, I would love to see you drawing from the imagination, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Ooh, someone said an uh, someone Zandrew Bert. I can see clearly. Um, animals or some plants. Plants, <gasps> okay. Plants. Plants. <laughs> um and chemical asks, uh, I've got a question about how y'all use pose refs. Sometimes I feel like I am being too close to the ref by redlining and such. Uh, personally, I hmm, how how say how say? Yeah, think, think about here. it. Um, because I I don't typically use a lot of reference and if i do i just kind of eyeball it that comes from a lot of practice though and uh like, like i can kind of just like look at a ref be like okay and approximate it close enough that it's basically what i want um if i'm ever having a lot of trouble with something sometimes i will redline it and then uh, like go from there but a and maybe this doesn't apply if you're still kind of like exploring your style or something depending on what I'm referencing uh, I, I'm vaguing because it is usually my little muscle bear man mm -hmm. that's what I use a lot for reference Stella Right now he's holding Apollo Justice. I put him there before Anime NYC and then never moved him. Mm -hmm. But um, I do use this sometimes as reference for foreshortening and then I'll just like redline it. But it, not all the time does the character kind of match these proportions because how you proportion, you know, head to body, various like body parts to each other, that's part of your art style. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll like redline it directly from the model and then use that breakdown to help me figure it out in my style um, where, uh, yeah, so it never feels so one-to-one -one that I, I feel like I've cheated myself or the source. Usually the source is my own pictures of my strange man. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, but I also already kind of have a solid base knowledge that I'm working from, I feel. If you're still kind of like building that up, sometimes it does feel harder and sometimes you are kind of doing a bit more one-to-one. -one. And depending on what you're doing for, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. If you're just doing it to practice, like if you're just practicing and learning and extrapolating information from doing that and you're just kind of doing it for your own self and growth like ain't nothing wrong with that ain't follow your hair yeah 
but yeah oftentimes it's... if i'm like really yeah. struggling with a pose i'll try and like recreate it myself and take a photograph of myself doing the pose <laughs> and then i'm like okay if it's too similar to this it's okay because it's just me yeah like i don't usually use a lot of like pose reference that isn't just something i kind of like posed myself anymore but you know if i'm using like my pose book or something i'm I like referencing from like a photograph in there or one of the like poses modeled in there like i do just kind of eyeball it but you know the there's uh an amount of study that you should do to kind of like you know get go better at just eyeballing um because it's hard to do that if you're not confident in your ability to just like draw the body, mm -hmm. which is what we've done figure drawing classes for. Ooh. So, yeah. Figure drawing and Nathan being a weird little guy. <laughs> Nathan helped. And I, yeah. I was there. All right. I think I think I'm done with this. This is neato. This is crazy. I don't think I would have done this. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I would have done this under any other circumstance. So you know, you yeah. you, you end up unlocking parts of your brain, and uh, and then yeah. it feels like uh, again to to paraphrase that, or, or possibly even just directly quote that video. It's like scratching an itch in your brain, sort of. It's like sometimes you didn't even know you had that itch, but then like once yeah. you get going on it, your brain's like, ooh, yeah, more of that. It's like a, a massage, like just letting, because there's so much happening in there, you know, and so much yeah. gets gets buried down during the day because you um, you got like real shit stuff. To do. Yeah, you got shit to do. You got stuff <laughs> on your mind. You got people to talk to, and then like, yeah, I don't know the way. The way all that information and all those feelings and, and everything gets stored up in there and then there's like no way to express it. It's like it comes out in these crazy Yeah weird. I do ways. appreciate how grungy your automatic drawing is. Thank you. That one time that I played VR chat and was like super freaked out about it. <laughs> I couldn't draw on my computer, so I just got my sketchbook <clears throat> and was sitting here on mic, <laughs> just kind of like, <sighs> and I just did a whole page full of very anxious looking Raymond. So <laughs> <laughs> that's my automatic drawing, I think. That's awesome. <laughs> it's a bit sillier. Yeah. Um, what do you draw next, dude? I don't know. People said plants. We could draw some plants. Ooh. Just some some mind plants. Some non some non referential mind plants. Yeah. Let's try that. Let's try filling up a page with like leaves and, and crap. And then if you want to if says... you want to get better, if you want to get huh? better at drawing plants, definitely look at reference. Also. Yeah, I'm gonna look at my plants right over here. But yeah, Air says, I'd love to see some poses specifically of posing the neck because I have no clue how she works. What? You want me? You want me to pose? No. <laughs> Just stud do some studies. Find one of those things. It's like different angles, different lighting. It's out there. Just go to like line of action or something and focus on the necks of people. You'll figure it out. got this idea in my head of like a leaf shape and we just ro yeah. rotate that in space and um let's see there's, there's also, a lot yeah could do this can of, be a lot of different shapes yeah 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 these, <laughs> these are weird sort of mind plants are yeah. not necessarily they don't necessarily exist in our world they might remind you <laughs> of something that exists in our world but they themselves 
Yeah. Have their own idea. Yeah. You wouldn't know because you can't hear them. Right. Can't hear them. <laughs> yeah, if you if you were in the room with them, you'd know. <laughs> Huh? If you could hear them, they'd say, I don't look like that. <laughs> yeah, and you'd be like, why are you talking? Plant, plant can also mean flower. They got like, flower, yeah. flower can look like this. Petals. Yeah, it's fun to just sort of like, see what's in your brain do a little inventory and be like, okay, what do you, what do you think a plant is? Yeah. And then you look at it and be like, oh, I was way off. That's okay. <laughs> this, isn't, <laughs> this isn't right at all, but that's fine. You know? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Can be like little blades of grass. <laughs> I feel like I always make my grass thicker than it needs to be. It's just close. It's just really close to you. Yeah, some thick grass. Yeah. Grass can be quite thick. over at my plants <laughs> seeing you draw plants makes me think of my plants that are in eyesight and I'm just like i miss my plants <laughs> yeah, what, what are your, you've got like i'm trying to think there's like a sort of like a, a vine <laughs> i can see a plant from here okay. sort of huh uh, we've got plants here. Emily, they're they're Emily's yeah. plants, but they're <laughs> they're plants nonetheless. They sort of yeah. sort of do this sort of do this thing. Some of mine's are getting kind of scrungly because it's getting cold. Oh sure. They're gonna go dormant and they're gonna be ugly. <laughs> Very exciting stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Soft and healthy, though, and that's why he's my favorite. <laughs> the time of the year to go ugly, exactly. Time for everyone yeah. to go ugly. <laughs> It's the holidays. <laughs> Put on your yeah. ugly sweater. <laughs> Become plant. Yeah. Go dormant. Go dormant. <laughs> Very excited for all of my precious sedum plants to go dormant and see who manages to survive until spring. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. And yeah, like because of how loose I'm feeling Ooh. now from the um from just the automatic drawing, I feel like I'm I'm making more fun decisions with how yeah. I want to indicate these plants with like shadows and I'm feeling less less precious about making sure these plants look exactly correct and more just like vibing with them yeah using those shadows and that negative space yeah
Tetsu, why do you have more aerial roots? I literally overwater you every week. You're so silly. <laughs> When in doubt, just like darken something in, you know? Yeah. It just adds, it adds like depth. It makes it look like what you did was on purpose. Yeah. Even what I appreciate wasn't. about this loose stuff that you're doing is that <laughs> I don't, I don't want to like talk down to the work you're doing. <laughs> and I'm just like, there's not a lot of thought going into no, it. No, there isn't. Yeah, and so not a lot of like critical thought because I think that's another thing that's easy to get bogged down in. Yeah. Um, is it, is this is just like, practice. yeah, is this what shadows look like? Is this supposed to be like this? Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? You're just making it up. We're just having fun. You can make it look Does like it whatever look you cool? want. Does it look cool? Yeah. So you can. So it's good. <laughs> It doesn't always have to make sense. Yeah. Again, there's for for any skill, like on a technical drawing level that you want to practice, there are so many resources that'll teach you, you know, what are good exercises to do to practice, what are you looking for when you're practicing. Like you can you can improve whatever pace you want to um at whatever skills yeah. you want to and and i'm here to tell you that like you can also just take some time to take the pressure off and draw some nonsense and that's yeah. cool too because i think especially if you want to be a professional artist or are already a professional artist sometimes like when art becomes your job and becomes work when it's always been like your passion it's easy to fall out of love with the you know the process mm -hmm. because suddenly you're doing it for work and you're under all these like stresses and like new new like worries and stuff and trying to improve which is you know and it's good it's good to improve it's not what i'm saying yeah but you know, doing stuff like this can just kind of like, you know, reignite that enjoyment of just the act of making art, I think. Right. So it's probably, I think it's probably very good to do this from time to time. It's good to remember that like making a bad drawing, nothing bad actually happens to you. Yeah. If you draw a flower wrong, the the flower police aren't gonna come get you you know <laughs> you can make you can make these effed up looking flowers and it's fine it's totally it's totally whatever you can if you don't like looking at them you can delete them but like yeah it's like if you're like oh I, i'm not good at drawing plants it's like okay yet yet there's so much you can do to improve that, but also, you can also just draw the plants bad, and that's okay. Yeah. Plants are weird looking anyway. Yeah. Like, Kotetsu, my beautiful, bubbly, little, fuzzy baby boy, is oh so cute. He keeps getting aerial roots, and I'm just like, that's so weird that plants can just get aerial roots. They're not even, like, ground roots. Do you know, know about that, that Mr. Nathan? I don't know what that means. If a plant wants more moisture, especially if it's like a succulent like, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I've done maybe like 10 research on this, so Ooh, don't take my word for it. I Google searched it at least once or twice and skimmed some answers. But um, I noticed this with a lot of my succulents is that uh they'll grow roots out of their stems mm -hmm. so they're not roots that go into the ground and they're not meant to be roots that go into the ground but they're meant to take moisture out of the air so if the plant's feeling a, like it's a little too dry it'll grow aerial roots to like get extra moisture from the air so even though kotetsu is also very very cute and soft he does have a couple of like just random aerial roots that just reach around. <laughs> so 
I have one of them next to a ceramic humidifier mm -hmm. so that if I put some some steamy water in it, he can grab some moisture, I guess. That's nice. Greedy ass. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, plants do weird things. <laughs> so you can just make them up. <laughs> you can make them up. Yeah, they're weird. I've uh I've I, I mentioned this on um on the episode that came out, but like I I watched mm -hmm. uh, that show Scavengers Rain. Highly recommend. Yeah. It, it's just like some of the most creative stuff I've ever seen in a in a show. Like if you just want some inspiration of just like how weird and cool something can be, like the just like alien life design in that show is it's something else mm. so yeah like yeah and Nick things are weird yeah some flower look like this maybe like a little bulbous <laughs> like Bulbasaur. I got like, these things coming out. I don't know. I'm making it up. I think, yeah. yeah I think like that. I was able to show you my cactus bloom, which, by the way, never actually flowered. It just bloomed. My, yeah, one of my cactus grew a bloom in November because he's stupid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. It, it didn't flower because it's incredibly off season, I assume. Mm -hmm. And it's like cold now, so it died, but it just had this like big ass piranha plant ass nice. <laughs> little thing. Cause it's not even a big cactus. So it was just really cracking me up. I'm just, just like, why, why are you like this? <laughs> didn't get cold fast enough and you thought it was spring. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Plants are so funny. Plants are great. Yeah. Do like a rose, which is sort of like a little or a rose adjacent. Roses, sort of, yeah. Do sort of like this. They Roses do like they're hard. They're hard. They do like a little this sort of thing, and then you have to decide how big you want to make it. <laughs> kind, of, kind of like that rose like my favorite yeah. type of video game rose, <laughs> rose like good one nathan <laughs> yeah i'm just we're just making shapes yeah we're just making shapes and nothing no one's upset about it. No, who's upset about it? Not me. Damn right. Just keep adding petals. Keep adding leaves and petals, you know? Yeah. However you want. fan art of my plants. You should, yeah. When, <laughs> um. I just have so many. When Bo was on the, uh,. The charity stream we did not this year but i guess last yeah. year and she yeah. drew her, her plant as like a hot man that was awesome yeah that's like their oc now <laughs> that's so cool yeah i should i should i told them that i would gajinka at least one of my plants i would gajinka junji uh now that he's no longer dying <laughs> Junji's like my most important plant so he gets a gajinka sure <laughs> i i've talked a little about junji on stream so for anyone who remembers my monstera junji mm -hmm. and, and i don't remember the last time i've updated he uh got mildew at the start of the summer and I was really mad about it because it like made all of his leaves sick. So I ended up just like, even though I put mildew spray on him, all the leaves were already starting to like get sick. Mm -hmm. So um, 
I, I ended up cutting all of them off and he was bald. <laughs> but I, I pruned all of his leaves and then I realized, because I didn't know what kind of Monstera he was, because it was a housewarming gift from a friend. So it was very important for me to like keep Junji alive and mm -hmm. like flourishing. Um, and that friend had propagated it from one of their monsteras that they had gotten from they didn't even know where so they didn't know what kind it was either he's a climbing monstera so he needed a stick so i pruned all of his leaves because they were sick and then i just shoved some chopsticks in there and he was like oh fuck yeah and now he's like huge <laughs> that's awesome junji's junji's the one by my tv Wait, that I, did, um, I knew this but i don't know yeah yeah I've talked about yeah it. he has like he has like he had no leaves in the summer because they all got sick and now he has like 30 or 40 That's and he awesome. has one errant vine that keeps wrapping up like my lamp um and climbing a lot so he's doing very well now Hell yeah. <laughs> so i'm very happy <laughs> with my ability to grow Junji into a normal flourishing monstera. And now I'm gonna gajinka him. That's <laughs> yeah. Just sort of get these like bushy shapes coming in. Ooh. Yeah, what a nice know. scene. Yeah, just a little scene. And it's just yeah. it's, it's all from our minds. It's like we can we can just sort of it's your mind garden. It's our mind garden. We can just sort of <laughs> tap in there and come up with some stuff. It's like you're you've looked at plants. If you've ever seen a plant before, your brain has some idea in it. Yeah. And if you just sort of just sort of set it free, you'll get something cool. It might not yeah. look exactly like this, but that's honestly, okay. like look at some weird plants and then like close your eyes. And like, just <laughs> hold those images in your heart for a moment and then yeah. just like do it all from memory. <laughs> yeah, dude. Hold See the weird happens. plant images in your heart. Yeah. <laughs> There's this one plant that I saw at the botanical garden, but it was, bef it was while I was in the process of moving. So I was like, Maybe if I ever see this plant again, I'll get one for myself. But I haven't yet. Um, but I would like to someday. And uh, I forget the name of it, but the flowers of this plant look like the worm on a string toys. Oh, cool. Like the little wormy toys that Olive and Joy like to yeah, play yeah, with. Yeah. yeah. And like. <laughs> I want one so bad, but when I went back to the botanical garden this year, they didn't have it. Ugh. So I could probably, or I, I've never ordered a plant because I like to, you know, shop local, but mm -hmm. I haven't, I haven't come across it again. But if I ever see that fucking worm plant again, it's there's over. plants where their flowers <laughs> just look like worms. <laughs> it's so whack. They can do whatever they want, plants. They're they're wild. They're, wild. they're literally wild. <laughs> they're so wild for this. <laughs> All right. Kind of filled up the, the canvas again yeah. with just some like mind plants. This is really nice. Yeah, again, I wouldn't have drawn this. And like this yeah. this <laughs> this isn't accurate to anything it, but it does look kind of fun right i'm like yeah i'm excited to see unless you're a real stickler for plant accuracy no one would ever know yeah and if you are shut up <laughs> if you are get the hell out of here <laughs> this isn't the time for this, this. Isn't for you this isn't your stream <laughs> you want plant accuracy stream that's um i'm, I'm not going to be hosting that one that's for sure plant accuracy stream yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's fun 
yeah just have like a vague that's like yeah. a fun way to do automatic drawing too is like give yourself like a vague prompt like plant and then just see what you come up with <laughs> yeah yeah uh any anything else y'all want to y'all want to try people what are also do? saying they always like to see animals animal we could do like a fill the screen with animal with some like you should fill the screen with, with some some mind animals yeah just from let them crawl out yeah some little critters <laughs> move, move the like trash cans around in your brain yeah. and see what scurries out see from what's behind in them there. we got like a little rat Arr. creature coming in <gasps> rat <laughs> it's just sort of like animals but it's the thing john carpenter's the thing i've never <laughs> seen that one i've just seen the memes it's too gross for me it's sort of a gross it's sort of a gross one. Oh, we're just doing mind animals if you think too hard about it then it's not what we're doing it's not what we're doing Overlap them. Oh. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Maybe like a bear or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a good friend yeah, it's just, there's just buds hanging out and then i'm trying not to think too hard or say anything too definitive because i know you're just you're just berserk going yeah. <laughs> and i don't want to lead you in any way but that's cute Thank you. <laughs> We're all friends. We're all just hanging out. Got another 25 minutes. If anyone else has any questions, any please questions feel free. Requests. Craig, fall asleep. <laughs> it's a nice setting. And immediately I became a sleepy baby. <laughs> <laughs> if i saw this bear on the subway this would be me <laughs> like, okay i don't know about this got, got two rats got two oh, rats okay. on you okay okay sure sure that's that's what you're doing He's got his own stuff, but they're not rats. They're like. <laughs> he's being so judgmental for someone doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, he's got like a fog. 
Rogue. <laughs> it's kind of a frog. I don't know what this is. It's like <laughs> frog adjacent. Frog enough. Frog enough. Who cares? Who cares? Just yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <Little drippy guy. laughs> Aw, why are you dripping? You nasty. Sort of like a nasty little guy. <laughs> what else is here? Yeah. After this, I'll do some sketchbook and yeah, free futzin in my sketchbook. Yeah, if after this you're like, I want to keep drawing, that's awesome. Yeah. Maybe I'll do more sculpting. I had this absolutely like genius realization, like absolute brig. The brig brain brick, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> absolute mind of the master mastermind mm -hmm. moment where I was like, I should just make my friends holiday gifts. Oh <laughs> like yeah, I can just make things. I can, I can just make things. You can you can do that. I might I might do uh, pet portraits for my friends. Nice. I, I'm fan. I, I'll do fan art of their pets. I'm fans of them. Like, uh, like that one dog you're always showing me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one dog. Uh, with the really bad sit, mm -hmm. and then the cats that I I cat sit for sometimes. So maybe I'll do that tonight. Damn. Pet Gajinka fan art. Nah. <laughs> At least at least with these guys, I've spent um, a lot of time with them, uh, especially the cats, and those things are subhuman. <laughs> <laughs> Actual creaturas, not, not, <laughs> not humanable. <laughs> no, they're perfect as is. I want to capture their exact essence. Do like this, this gator coming out. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> doing just fine. <laughs> yeah, he's doing just fine. Whoops. Herbs. Herbs. <laughs> we get it. You can draw herbs. <laughs> kind of. This is kind of a long, boo, boo. long horse. You don't need to flex on me. <laughs> Looks concerned. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Oh, I'm this, about is, to throw up. Is this the right place? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> is this the right place? <laughs> I, what did I walk into? The here? horse is the horse is actually on the gator's back. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> balancing precariously. It did make it look so yeah. concerned. That's so funny. <laughs> and for what? And for what? <laughs> Cat's having a good time. <laughs> yeah, he's loving it. <laughs> what else should be here? So now I've painted myself into a corner where I'm like having to think. Gonna, Don't think. I'm just gonna put a bird. Let's go. I'm just gonna put a bird. Yeah, think less. Yeah, this bird is. I don't even know what kind of bird this is, and that's okay. It's a long bird. Who cares? Who cares? We can have one long bird. We can have like a little bird here. <laughs> in doubt, just put some birds. Yeah. Borb, sort of a borb here. Um, the angle doesn't really make sense, and that's okay. <laughs> Just sort of sitting on the horse this way, and uh, I can do some. Some could be back here. Let's see, let's just start drawing a shape. Let's figure out what this is. Something round. Some sort of ape. Ooh, you, you, you've got it. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just like looked up and I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't know what the mood is here. Or why? <laughs> why it's like almost so like comfortable <laughs> that. <laughs> the thing just have them all holding like solo cups and it's that meme where you walk into the party oh yeah and all the animals turn and look at you <laughs> yeah like <laughs> when you force yourself to keep drawing you just your brain comes up with stuff I was like I, I don't think I would yeah would've... I don't think I would have on my own decided to put an ape here. <laughs> Everyone's trying I don't to... know about this one, but it happened. <laughs> this did happen. This is, this is the bird here. And the ape's back there. Bird's beak kind of makes it look like he's got like a hairstyle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a cow in the distance. Wow. And the cows go like that. Distant cow. <laughs> One of those distant cows. Yeah, oh to oh to be a distant cow. But no, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
weird picture. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the sun went down. Yeah. Made me go. Me, 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 me. This elephant makes sense, but he's here too. <laughs> Maybe just he's a, an elephant. He's just a little elephant. He's on the back. <laughs> he's just a little elephant. He's just a little elephant. He's not to scale. He's also riding on the wolf, the fox, or whatever that is. <laughs> Aww, he's a baby. He's like a fetus. <laughs> he's like a fetus, exactly. Thank you. Yeah. Something here. Ow. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. Hmm. We should do. Yeah, we, we should definitely do like in a hangout where we're just doing stuff. But yeah. I went on a brain tangent. It was like, we should just fill up, like, the biggest thing that we can find. Like, some, some big-ass thing. Yeah. And then we can auction it for charity. Yeah. We can do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. You just get our mind animals yeah. and plants and dumpster <laughs> and innards <laughs> my art style changed mid drawing i don't know what happened <laughs> i had sort of like a style going and then i was just like i don't know that's oh, okay. no, it's sometimes, all you. Sometimes you just get yeah. tired. <laughs> also, that's yeah. Allowed. There's just like a funny little Nathan that poked out for some of these. <laughs> but you know, you get the idea. Ah. You can sort of do whatever, and as long as you did it, you did something. <laughs> you got those those art muscles loose. Today's stream was really just stuff happened and we're EP. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But it's still art. Yeah. Look, I'm just, I'm not, like, Nathan's doing the most. Nathan's having a great time. I'm having, I'm having a, a great time. time hanging with Nathan. Art should be a good it's time. It's just that I'm, I'm still, like, Look, it's winter. The sun went down and it made me yawn a lot. I'm sorry. Right. I'm still here. <laughs> it's almost over. Yeah. We basically did it. You did it. And everybody who I drew helped. along did it. This frog is... I, yeah. I already redrew it, but it's still giving me... I'm having issues with it. The frog is cute. No, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Just make make this eye a little yeah just yeah a little better yeah if any if anything 
you drew this this way makes you want to like actually get better at drawing that thing good then now you can you can go look at reference yeah but sometimes yeah sometimes you just got to get it out there to, at all yeah sometimes you have to get rid of the fear yeah of, of drawing it bad first by just drawing it bad i think i think that's what i'm gonna do tonight i'm working on a a special project do right I know? now not draw fee do related i know about this project i mentioned it in passing okay we can talk about it off stream yeah i'm interested i'm intrigued now. but <laughs> i need to start like doing some planning sketches for that and i think i keep putting it off because i find it daunting yeah that'll but, happen yeah but i think i need to just start putting pen to paper just so that they're like not stuck up here and then i can fix them later <laughs> cuz yeah i mean it's the same sort of thing that people say for writing or even I know I've used this sort of uh, ideas for people who are interested in doing like comics and stuff where sometimes you just gotta like start putting it down on yeah. paper even if it sucks and in a way this is kind of what it is because you know you'll stumble upon a thing where you're like oh I liked this one yeah another bear. <laughs> I like this funny bear with the rat <laughs> there's another bear with a rat no way. Different bear, different rat. Whoa. Unless. Oh, unless he's moving so fast. It's like a panoramic where he like ran. <laughs> he just shoved through the whole crowd. Yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. I love that. Art can be weird. Yeah. Art can be weird and yeah. unexpected, and you should do stuff that lets it surprise you, where, like, yeah. you surprise yourself, because that's... It doesn't have to be good all the time. It doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be intentional. Cool. Like, it can just... Yeah. You Let it happen. Like, that's that's one of my favorite things, is when we're, like, recording a drawfee or something, and, like one of us draws something that like even the person drawing didn't expect and like we all <laughs> we all like crack up at it and like that's yeah that's like the beauty of it like i know not every art project is gonna let you feel <laughs> that way but i think it's it's yeah. definitely worthwhile to take time to do that with your drawings um if you can because it reminds you what it's all about that there's this yeah. there's this crazy thing we can do this magical thing we can do where we we move our our hand around holding something <laughs> in it and these lines appear and those Whoa. lines somehow take on meaning and represent things yeah it's like that, that's magic man you're doing magic every time you draw yeah. You get this feeling. Get this feeling. <laughs> 2023. We're still doing that joke. I'm never going to stop doing that joke. And people will keep putting it in compilations. Good. And I love that for but them. Yeah. <laughs> you good, buddy? I'm great. I had you a were good time. tearing up for a second. Let's <laughs> get emotional, you know? Art. Or <laughs> yeah. I do I do think it's a nice reminder that as important as it is, you know, to want to improve your craft that you know, some sometimes you really do just gotta step back and take it easy. The bird's neck says hi. It does say hi. The way I drew the it feathers. Does. It says hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. That's what they're all saying. Hello. Hello. 
<laughs> I don't know. A lot of those are not saying that. Not to me. <laughs> You're saying like, hi. Yeah, hi, period. <laughs> <laughs> or hi, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, any um any last questions yeah. or thoughts before we we yeah. call it for the End year? The year. This is this is the year. This is the year. Thank you all this so is... much for your support yeah. for uh for another year of Drafi. I hope you I all have a, a nice holiday time. Mm -hmm. They could be making the noise Tina Belcher makes. Uh... <laughs> that's um, just the noise nathan makes that's the noise i make also the base tina yeah. belcher off of me nathan um, isn't it 10 years next year it is that's crazy 10 years in march <laughs> you know no one needs to go back and watch videos that we posted 10 years ago that we thought were good or i didn't even th i don't even know if we thought they were good back then we just posted them they just kind of were brought into existence. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't think anyone was gonna watch them, so I was like, "Oh, this is fine." And now, oh, look at you now. Look at us now. What a mistake! No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you don't have to go back and watch those videos, but we can acknowledge that it has been ten years. Wild. <laughs> without you making it weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should uh, do something. We should do something. We we'll probably do something. I bet we'll do something. Imagine that. Maybe we'll do something no for 11 know. years instead. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it off a year. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, sorry, forgot. Didn't <laughs> feel like it. Next yeah. year, though. We're busy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we get busy again. Oops. Oops. Um. Yeah. It's just yeah. you should you should draw you should draw and and yeah. try and find joy in drawing. Uh, if that's something that you want to do. Yeah, if, if you're if... ever feeling kind of discouraged about, you know, making art, I I always think of it as the the a lot of the joy is in the process, so Yeah. You should figure out or you know, like mess around and see if you can find This is my favorite thing I drew today. I know it's so neat though. Yeah. So scrongly and cool. Try doing something different. If, if yeah. what you're doing isn't working for you, try doing something different. And if what's what you're doing is working for you, keep at it. Yeah. <laughs> and, Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Zandrew Bert posted some of their stuff from today. Ooh, I'm and gonna go look at Patreon. it. Patreon. Yep. Chat. Uh, Discord. I I know words. Yeah. Put put anything you want to put job. in the draw class. Uh, Discord, <laughs> or don't, or don't. Yeah, just you don't only, have to. only if you want to. And um, yeah, it does. It doesn't even need to be from a draw class that you watch live. Like if you put on a draw class and it inspired you to draw something after the fact, and you want to share it, feel free to share it. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, it, we do it, look. I, it's I get a kick my favorite out of that. place to check. Yeah, it's a it's a to good see spot. What people are getting up to. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you all so much. And uh, have a good one. Keep drawing. Yeah. Surprise yourself. Yeah, have fun. And have fun. And uh, that's it. We're going to we're going to go. We're sorry. That's the thing we say. We're sorry. Yeah, I was just like <laughs> Are you ending it? Is I'm, it ended? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hold pose. Hold pose. Hold pose. Bye.